guys, welcome back to Adelaide's Makeup Tutorial Channel. So a few weeks ago I started a new series which was a Disney series and then I kind of put it on hold while I was finishing off my Sweet Lips series. But you guys have been requesting that I start it up again quite a bit so today I'm starting it up again and I had already done an Ariel from Disney's Little Mermaid so I decided to keep going with a few more characters from The Little Mermaid and then move on to some other ones. So today I'm going to show you how to do this look inspired by Flounder from The Little Mermaid. Let's get started. Okay, firstly I'm taking this nude lip liner from Napoleon Perdice and I'm lining the whole way around my lips. I'm just using this liner as a guide for where I'm going to place my face paint. Next, I'm taking this yellow face paint from Snazaroo and I'm lining over the top of that nude lip liner and then I'm filling in the entire lips as well. Next, I'm taking my blue No She Didn't lipstick from Lime Crime and I'm applying two lines on either side of my bottom lip and then filling in the space in between those lines. Once they are filled in, they should be about a centimetre thick each. Now I'm taking this dark blue face paint also from Snazaroo and I'm applying a thin line down the middle of each of those blue areas. And once I've done that, I'm doing the exact same thing on the top lip, except that I'm applying three light blue areas, one in the middle and one on either side, and then I'm applying that dark blue face paint on the top and bottom of those areas. All of these shapes represent shapes that you can find on flounder. Next, I'm taking this orange face paint also from Snazaroo, and I'm just applying this very lightly around the edges of the lips. Okay, now that the lips are done, I'm moving on to the eyes, and can you believe I dropped this eyeshadow right as I was about to use it, and I have since fixed it, but as you can see it here, it's very crushed. So this is my dark blue eyeshadow from Sugar Pill Cosmetics, which I'm applying to the outer corner of my eye, extending down to underneath my lower waterline. I'm also applying a line of this across my top eyelid, just above my crease line. So as you can see, I've ended up with a nice V shape. Once I've done that, I'm taking a blending brush and blending out that colour. Now I'm taking my black liquid eyeliner from Arbonne and I'm lining a thin line across my top lash line, ending in a nice big flick and I'm leaving a slight gap in the end of the flick which you can see here. I'm also taking that liquid liner down underneath my lower waterline to about halfway along my eye and then flicking it downwards slightly. Now I'm taking this fluoro blue and fluoro green face paint from Derivan and I'm applying them in a thin line inside that little gap that I left at the end of the eyeliner. The blue clearly represents some of the colour on Flounder's body and the green represents Flounder's green eyes. I'm now taking this yellow eyeshadow from Sugar Pill Cosmetics and I'm applying this to the remaining area of my eyelid that is still showing. Then I'm taking my Black Peep Show Mascara from Napoleon Perdice and applying this to my top and bottom lashes. Okay, and there we have our completed flounder from the Little Mermaid inspired makeup look. If you enjoyed this one today, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want updates on all my new weird looks which I do twice a week every single week. And sometimes I'll have a bonus video going up which is a challenge or a day in the life of. Now also leave me a comment down below letting me know which Disney character you would like me to do a look inspired by. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you for the next tutorial. And don't forget, weird is wonderful. Bye, analyzers.